Robomate Plus, India's largest curriculum based study app. Download the app now. I think you all remember making this paper plane as a kid because we made this paper plane with a lot of hope and we actually thought that when we would throw this it would go soaring into the space and when we threw this paper plane for a microsecond we actually thought it would go into space but finally the plane came down and when it came down we cursed gravity and we actually hoped it would not exist but then as we grew up we realized Gravity was not that bad after all. Even simple, simple things like drinking water would be so difficult without gravity. I know the intelligent minds must be thinking, of course you can drink water with a straw, but that would make it so difficult and there would be one thirsty human race. But what if I wanted to take this object and send this object into space beyond the Earth's gravitational influence. What kind of a velocity would be required to send this object beyond the Earth's gravitational influence? That kind of a velocity is called escape velocity. So I have this magical bat here and I'm going to set this magical bat to Tony's highest sixer ever and that was in New Zealand 120 meters high. Now here comes the ball and I hit it and it goes 120 meter high. But then finally, it has to come down because of the Earth's gravitational influence. I think you all must have heard about Concorde plane, one of the fastest moving objects. It traveled with a speed of 2200 kilometers per hour, which is around 600 meters per second, faster than sound. And now the ball comes and I hit the ball with the speed of Concorde plane. And you can see the ball is going very fast and it breaks the speed barrier and there is the sonic boom. But still the influence of gravity acts and finally again the ball comes down. Let's take this to the next level. I'm going to put on the setting of the kind of velocity which is required while launching of rockets. The ball comes and I hit and you can see the ball is going and finally it goes and it begins to now orbit. Now when it is orbiting also, remember that even when an object is orbiting, it is still under the influence of Earth's gravitational force. Now why is this object moving around my hand? Of course, because of the force exerted by my hand on this object. Similarly, if you are seeing that object orbiting around the Earth, it is because of the gravitational influence of the Earth acting on that object. Now I want to send an object out of the influence of Earth's gravitational force. So let us see how that is possible. Now I'm going to set this particular bat with the speed of photon which travels with the speed of light. Now the ball comes and the ball is traveling with the speed of light and you can see the ball continues to travel crossing infinity. Now I don't want this to happen. What I wanted to happen was the ball should go and stop at infinity. So I'm going to take this bat to the infinity setting to send this ball to infinity. And here the ball comes and I hit the ball and you can see the ball is going and it continues and continues and finally the ball goes and stops at infinity. So that means it has escaped the earth's gravitational influence. Now the velocity with which I hit the ball is called as the escape velocity. Thank you for watching this video lecture. To watch more such interesting videos, attempt tests and to get instant analysis, download the Robobait Plus app now.